If you want to 3D scan tiny gemstones like this, you can do it with the Tuple 3D scanner and the results are really accurate. The process works like this. You attach the stone to a matchstick with a bit of the tack pad material. And this means that the scanner can even get up shots to capture the underside of the stone during the scan. To make the scanner do that, you just have to select the correct scan angles in the options. It's called dense and low, and you can see it's capturing from below the horizon. This is the result of the single scan. And if you don't need the data where the stone is attached, you can just crop off the small bonding zone and use the scan just like this. That would be useful, for example, if you're making a holder because then it's just the size and shape of the perimeter that's important. If you need to capture the full 360 degree scan of the stone, you can flip it over and then scan it again and merge the results. There's some tips for doing that, which is to save your scan data as a raw point cloud, like that, because they merge with the best quality. So then we load the two scans the first scan and the flipped scan into the align and merge tool. Now in most cases, first you click the course align button and that will give an automatic rough alignment. And then you have to click the find align button to fine tune it. In this case, the course alignment has found a nice overlap, but it's not the right alignment. So what we can do is we can do a manual course alignment by mouse dragging. So we select the scan we want to move, and then I can rotate it with the mouse. And I can also drag it by holding the control button on the keyboard. I'll make sure the chips line up as well. And then overlap them again. OK, now I'll just click Fine Align. And now you can see it's finished the job perfectly with a good alignment. So now I click Merge. Lower resolution gives the least scan artifacts, so I use that. Right, here's some results. On the left we have the imitation diamond. That was scanned with scan spray, which is very necessary as it's a transparent stone. The colour gemstone had no scan spray so we can see all the colour. But note that if I turn the colour off, you can see that the actual 3D shape underneath is a bit rougher than it should be. This is because you lose a bit of quality if you don't use scan spray. But if you don't mind that, the colour looks really nice and realistic. The one on the right is the same gemstone scanned with scan spray, and the surface is very true. So you can choose the technique that suits you best. And we have full step-by-step -step instructions for doing this on our website.